Great pressure there from Simone stretching Coop out wide and then moving over to her four, forehand in the middle. Seven, two. Side out. Point. Simone being ultra aggressive out the gate. It is working for them, but that drive still so long. Three, seven. Just a bit high from Coop there. Eight-three. Again, Simone being ultra-aggressive there in the middle with her forehand, taking 60-70% of the court when appropriate. Nine-three. That's pickleball, baby. Amazing point by both teams there. Elise able to finish that with her two-handed backhand. So the shot come out swinging. They are up early and hard with an 11-3 lead. We're going to switch sides here. Amazing energy from Elise and Simone.
Black Bears chance happening here. Being countered by the shock. Beautiful, beautiful and vibrant energy by the players, fans, team owners, pickleball fanatics. and Simone extending that so far. Four, 11. a bit much there from Maggie trying to do a little too much. 13, four. <laughs> Nifty Ernie there from Jardine. 14, four. Pressure being brought by the shock. Nine point lead for them. Maggie to serve. Five fourteen. Point. Beautiful dipping drive there by Coop. Showing a bit of life here. Seven fourteen. And here we go. A few more. Still black bear. Elise and Simone talking it over. Eight fourteen. Something together here. Beautiful thirds, whether it's Coop's drive or Maggie's drops, leading, letting them get up to the kitchen there and apply some pressure. yesterday in a very competitive pool trying to win a decisive 3-1 or 4-0 victory here in the match every point in every game does matter for these players and these owners no timeouts remaining time in 9-14 
great third there by Maggie. Just that backhand flick falls into the net. Crucial time right now 13, for the Black Bears. 16. So, shock three away here in game one. 18, 14. So much pressure with speed ups. Shock do take it. It seemed a bit closer mid-match as the Black Bears fought back. But we will move on to game two in the men's doubles matchup between Eric Lang and Jay Devillier going up against Federico Stackstrude and Dylan Frazier. Game two, first match of the day for these teams here in sunny San Clemente, California. Beautiful venue. 
in facilities here for both the Premier and Challenger divisions. We've had some exciting action already in the first two days. We had an upset within the Challenger semifinals, the Chicago Slice taking down the Bay Area Breakers, the two-time reigning Challenger champions. That happened on center court last night. We had amazing premier level play within the other pool between the Mad Drops and the Pioneers. That ultimately went 3-1, but it looked like it could have gone 2-2 or a dream breaker. turning into a festival-like atmosphere. Shock and Black Bears fans in competing chants. just finishing up their warm-up here on court three. We will get started shortly. We'll be interested to see for the Black Bears who's playing left and right. Dylan started out on the right yesterday against the fives, ended up switching to the left mid-match as they tried to change things up. Shock with Eric Lang. Athleticism and height on the shock zero, side, zero. but hands and aggressiveness probably in favor of Dylan and Fed. Game two, here we go. Side out, point one. One zero. Shake and bake there from Dylan. Two zero. Side out. Good One. hands from Eric to fend off that Dylan speed up at his right hip. One two. Just pushes that out to the right. Two, two. Side out. Point three. Three, two.
out, point three. Good hands there for Jay's forehand. Short, energetic burst here from both teams, three, three. Point. that hits the post, so point for the shot. Five, three. Right out, point four. Not quite the exchange of firefights and four, defensive five. resets that we saw earlier with the women's. Point. Five, five. Serve. Replay of serve there due to the five, net court. Five. Shock doing pretty well to fend off that shake and bake, but Six, couldn't five. last one more. Four. Eric Lang not happy about that one. I wouldn't be either. Small lead here for the Black Bears. Five. Great defense there from the Black Bears. Feds drive goes in the net, but good pressure at the kitchen from the shock. Six, seven. Had Dylan, but Dylan, one of the fa fastest pair of hands in the game, able to catch back up to that with his forehand. Eight, six. ATP from Eric called out by the Black Bears, but that will be challenged by the Shock. So our video ref headed to the booth to get a look at that one. Looks like it's hitting out, but ultimately up for the ref and the video crew to decide. Stay, so point awarded to the Black Bears. 10-6, lead has grown to four. 
Chime in. 10 6. Side out. Great Point return seven. from Eric there, keeping the Black Bears back. Return so Seven critical to making sure that degree of difficulty for the thirds is just a notch higher. Right out. Point 11. And that third falls into the net. So we will six sides here at 11. Black Bears with a lead. Both teams exchanging quite a bit of unforced errors. Let's see if Fed and Dylan can continue their shake and bake ways. Great dink there Point from eight. Eric pushing Dylan, outstretching him wide. Always a threat of Jay eight, earning 11. that. Side out. Point 12. fall in and Eric had to play that caught him off guard just a bit 14 8 oh point of the match there so far great resets in D from the shock making them hit another 9 14 Okay, trying to sprint to 21. 15, nine. Side out. Point. Good job from Eric keeping Dylan back there with, for his third and fifth. 10, 15. Shot from Jay readjusting in real time to that net cord. 11 15. Shot making from all four players. Jay with that cut volley down and away from Fed. Can't get to it. 12 16. Side out. A bit unnecessary there from Jay. Eric had done a great job of getting him back into the point. Lead back up to five. Two 
too much for Dylan to handle there. So Shock showing some energy and fight. 13, to try to 17. Push this. Got it. Watch, watch, watch. Sets. 18, 13. Beautiful backhand combo there from Eric. Due to his height, length, and anticipation, he really knows how to stand his ground. Fighting here. Seven. Timeout. Timeout Time out called by the Black Bears. Shock putting the pressure on right now. Black Bears trying to sustain this lead and get their first game of the day here in match number one for them. They're at 20, game point on Fed's paddle. 20, no. And that's so right long. Jay had prematurely served that before the score is properly announced. Fed wanting to call that. 18-20. Side out. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Our first trash shot coming from Fed so far. Game point number two back on his battle. 20, 
Serve to score. Oh, it may have been an out ball there that Dylan hit. So, point for the shock. They're climbing. They've made this a real, real game. side so they've evened up this match 1-1 one, one. we're gonna go to our next mixed match here we'll play all four games and maybe a fifth if it ends in a 2-2 tie
Okay, we're back here, game three against, uh, between the St. Louis Shock and the California Black Bears. We have the first mixed matchup. We'll have Dylan Frazier and Maggie Brashaw and Eric Lang and Elise Jones. Critical game three here in this match. The third and final pool play. exchange there. The points move so fast, Dylan and Elise just sprinting to go and serve. Nice ball from Eric, left in. Not a bad leave, but beautiful counter there from Eric Lang. Chaos there in the kitchen. Elise able to put that one, put that one away. Quick lead here for the shock. Four one. through presence there from Elise. Five, one. Good setup there from Elise with the lob over Maggie's left shoulder, but Black Bears will take that. Elise using her quick feet to apply pressure and really reduce that window where you can drop and drive. Nifty attacks there from Eric. Ellie's hitting an out ball, but it all works out in their favor. Lead has grown to five. Classic Dylan Frazier there with the forehand roll. Another classic Dylan Frazier point. We'll take it. That's three in a row for him. Five, seven. Side out. Point eight. Eight, five. Point. That ball goes long, so Eric and Elise. Always in constant communication, post point, strategizing for this.
not only has it a great ability to reset and play defense, but can bring the firepower. Exchange started there by Dylan. Maggie's forehand just off to the right, but great point by the Black Bears. Chalk looking to switch sides here if they can get to 11. Not sure the best strategy right now is to challenge Dylan straight up. Hands are looking on point today. have it so shock going to switching sides with this three-point lead here trying to capture game three SPF water fast hands all out here in full force today on this beautiful Saturday here in San Clemente, California. It's hard to hear myself think with the Black Bear chants and noise. Backtrack and slap that forehand back. Nine, eleven. here for the shock. Nice speed up there from Eric, but well defended by Maggie. Incredible reaction. just with a few too many unforced right now. Trying to fight their way back in. Shot by two. Keep 
good job from Maggie to earn that dead dink from Eric, but that cross court speed of Elise just too quick and ready for it. Maybe a timeout. Should be called and that is indeed called by the Black Bears. Maggie and Dylan attempting to regroup here. Shock looking to take this to a game three victory. sails out so easy point there for the shock lead 18, now 13. at five oh athletic get from Eric but technically a bag just bagged in the back smart heads up play from Dylan 14, 18. Eric really playing well here down the stretch with his counters and being aggressive with speed ups here. Thank you. Side out. Point. 15 threes. No comments from the side. Thank you. Here we go. That's a verbal warning. Okay? Verbal warning to the bench. Here we go. 15 19. That ball out. So, Black Bears with a little bit of life here, 16 19. 16 19. Oh, another drop from Dylan into the net. So, game point on Elisa's paddle here, 2016, trying to take game three. So, Shock came out strong, finished strong. Elise and Eric take that. Game three, our first mixed match, our second mixed match. Game four, Shock looking to seal this match between the Black Bears and themselves. We're going to have Jay DeVillier with Simone Jardine facing off against Federico Stackstrude and Andrea Coop here in game four.
15 seconds. Say no shots, Jeremy, for my life. And we're back here at Rowdy Court 3 here at MLP in San Clemente. Game 4 about to start. Simone has been on a mission. Her women's match, she came out firing with Elise. I'm expecting more of the same here. Good rips from Coop. Beautiful galloping ATP there from Simone. Amazing patience in letting that ball come out to give her the angle. So, 3-2 lead here for Jay and Simone. 3-2. Every mistake gets punished here in rally scoring. Third so three, three. critical to making your opponents play. Point. Nice hard put away there from Simone. Picking Jay up right now. Beautiful. Middle solves the riddle. Forehand speed up from her falls in. Five, four. Good handle from Fed off the net initially. Continues to apply pressure by stepping into the middle. All tied five, five. up here. Beautiful, beautiful backhanded ape. Ernie there from Jay, the flying Frenchman on display. Two point Seven lead five. for the shock. Jay chopping that tree, six, seven hard shots down the feet of Coop. Coop doing a good job of earning another six, six. reset, but just too much there.
Finish off with a <laughs> ATP by Simone, but around the legs reset from Jay, extending that point. Incredible, incredible pickleball. Shocks lead up to four now. Ten six. That drive was probably Time sailing out. out. Counter by Coop. Goes left, so we're gonna switch sides here in game four. Shock flowing with some pretty good energy right now. Jay's picked his game up. Simone has been incredible today in both of her matches. Black Bears will take it as they try to rally here for a comeback. Coop sails that one long, but that's a great one to take. Simone doesn't leave those up too often. 12-7. and Ernie defense there, but great awareness from Simone to shift over to finish that off. 13-7. Good ball by Coop. J lead extended to six. 14 8. teams lead still at six but not too much time for the black bears they've got to get no going Shock keeping fed back at the baseline. Verbal warning for language. Verbal warning issued to Fed. 16, 11. Beautiful attack from the transition area with Simone. She's had three or four forehands down the middle, landing in, beautifully struck. 
Good try by Point. Coop there down the sideline. I believe that they're going to challenge that out ruling by Jay. Okay, we'll head to the video replay booth. BLQK Black Bears are challenging the out call by the St. Louis shot. As it stands right now, the score is 18-12 with shot serving. I'll call by Jay confirmed by the refs there, so point awarded to the shock. Pressure for the shock. 13-18. Simone would like that one back. So Black Bears within four. Showing some signs of life here to try to force a dream breaker. ATP that sails long. So 1914. 1914. Two hander goes long. So we have game and match point. On Simone's paddle, 2014. 2014. Oh, well set up by Simone there, catching Coop back off the kitchen line. Point for the Black Bears. Speed up. Side out. 20. Hits the net. So game point, match point number two for the shot coming up. 20, 15. Yeah. Point, game, net. Ball into the net. So shock. 
slight shock to the system here for the Black Bears. They go and fall three to one to the St. Louis Shock. Well done by Simone. We had an award an MVP for the match. She showed up in both of her matches. Eric and Jay playing extremely solid. St. Louis Shock came to play here in San Clemente. On day three of MLP that finishes off their pool play in group B. The fives and ATX pickleballers doing such a good job in their matches yesterday. So we'll return shortly to court three for another matchup in just a few minutes. Thank you all for tuning in.
Hey everybody, welcome to court three here at Major League Pickleball in San Clemente. We have a match coming up between the Florida Smash and the SoCal Hard Eights. It's going to be a fiery one. It's a beautiful day here in San Clemente, 75 and sunny. The fans are out watching Dream Breakers, watching matches. This will finish the pool play off for these two teams. This is their third match here in the Premier Division. They had two yesterday. The Smash uh, were unfortunately going, they went 0-2 in their first two matches of the day yesterday. Hard Eights were able to get one. They split 1-1. Regardless of that, every game and match does matter for these teams. It matters both for the short term, whether they can advance through their pool play, whether they can get a bye, or if they can potentially get into the Super Finals that comes up on Monday. It also matters long term for both the players and the teams as they determine their seeding for 2024. The top 12 of the 24 teams will be premier teams based on performance for how they do every weekend at the six Major League Pickleballs. Game one will be coming up just shortly between the Smash and the Hard Eights. We'll have the women's matchup with Georgia Johnson and Vivian David. Vivian, a new face for the Smash coming over in a trade from the Night Owls. And they'll be taking on the SoCal Hard Eights with Lindsey Newman and Lauren Stratman. Viv and Georgia, very familiar. They've been previous playing partners in various M, uh, excuse me, PPA events. Lauren and Lindsay also not quite as familiar, but certainly have some reps in from yesterday and their recent Texas Open in Rockwall. Milwaukee Mashers going 3-0 yesterday. Very impressive pool, or excuse me, going 3-0 in pool play in Group A. We'll have Lauren on the right for the Hard Eights, Lindsay on the left, Georgia Johnson on the left and Viv on the right for the smash. Bright pink, t-shirts, hats, chants, lining the courts 15 seconds. with some fans here. Time in, 2-0. Side out, point three. 
at the back of the smash right now. Right out, point two. High thirds do get punished, especially here at the premier level. Two, four. Beautiful reach in from Lauren. One of the hardest hitting women out here. That fierce forehand just can do a lot of damage. Okay, hard eights out here to a quick start. Four point lead. A lot more energy here in this match than we had seen in yesterday's opening women's match. Again, Lindsay inside out, two-hander, speed up. Speed ups aren't necessarily about the pace, it's about their location and the surprise. Well done. Dominant point there by Georgia. Some of the fastest hands in the game. there by both teams brings that lead back down to four. four eight. Point. Five, eight. Let a recall. Five, eight. Job there by the smash, alternating blows. Only a two point deficit here now. Nice attack by Lauren, but Vivian always so low and poised to counter everything, catches Lindsay off guard. Smash have evened it up at 8-8. Eight, eight. Powerful put away there from Georgia. She played tennis. Nice work by Lauren to bring down two of those high balls. Beautiful overheads. Good job by the smash. Back to a tie game. there by Lindsay.
point of the game and match. Amazing pickleball being played here in this women's matchup. We switch sides at 11, hard eights and the smash, battling it out right now. Again, can't reiterate it enough. Every game and match means something to these teams and players. They are fighting to advance. They are fighting for a bye. They are fighting for appearances in the Super Final. Everyone is laying it out on the line here in San Clemente, California. This is the third and final event for Major League Pickleball Season 1. Pressure there from Vivian. Smash all tied of it 14. 14. Again, rally scoring 221. 14. Take the lead here.
Georgia so quick to pounce on any lob that she can get to with that strong forehand put away. Viv didn't get it started, but she certainly accelerated that exchange. Anticipated it really well. So timeout taken by the hard eights as they're now down by three. Smash looking to get their first win in pool play. Hard eights looking to come out two and one, but we've got four games to go. Maybe a fifth if these teams split 2-2. We can go to a fifth fifth game dream breaker. We just saw in championship court. ATX Pickleballers taken down the fives. Both of those teams were 2-0 and oh heading into that. Final pool play match, an unbelievable finish there. Kawamoto's and JW really showing up. Production truck wants me to mention Gabe Tardio as well, showing up as strong fourth team member there for the ATX Pickleballers. But we're going to be, we're back and focused on court three. Smash looking to take this all the way up to 21. Lauren and Lindsay have switched. Lindsay now on the left. Going to give the Smash a little bit of a different look. Change up the patterns. 18, 15. Lindsay was scared that that was going to fall over. Point for the hard eights. Just out, but Lauren and Lindsay playing incredible. Vivian applying so much pressure. Resets galore. Beautiful point there. Point for Florida, 19-16. Eights need to stop here. Game point with Vivian. Good return. That third's in the net. job of making your opponents hit one more. Lauren and Lindsay turning up the defense there. They earn another one. They're, both teams are now frozen. Dink by Georgia started that all, getting the pop up from Lindsay. Good finish, okay. Game point number two for the Smash. Wow, another one. Georgia dumps that one into the net. Warren Lindsay making them hit, doing such a great job of resetting that softly. Frozen, so serving a score, 18-20.
is intense out here. Every shot in these rallies is giving some gripping nervous energy to us. Good step over from Georgia. Game point number four for the smash. Can they finish? Strategizing here and who to potentially return to. Hard eights putting up such a fight right now. Smash though have another opportunity to close out game one. They don't. Hard eight's back with it on Lawrence Paddle, 1820. Back up to the kitchen. Timeout, Florida Smash. Smash here are going to take a timeout, gather their breath, and strategize for how to close this one out. It's been back and forth here in the later points of this game. Absolutely beautiful SoCal weather day here on all the courts here at an amazing facility. MLP is just an extremely fun event to commentate for, to watch, to play pickup games around, to study, anything you want to do. It feels like a festival out here. It is a pickleball bonanza. And people are out and forth, especially here on a Saturday. The families, a lot of young kids in the crowd. again from Lauren that forehand is so so powerful okay they've switched it up Lindsay's gonna go to the right and stack here on the serve and we'll get game point I don't even know at this point it's another game point smash looking to close it out again we've been frozen have to serve to score here. And that hits the net. So 21-18 Florida Smash take game one. The woman coming out on top. Georgia Johnson, Vivian David. Well done setting the tone for the smash. We'll have the men up next. Team owner and player Travis Rettenmeyer, alongside Kyle Yates, taking on the formidable Riley Newman and AJ Kohler here in game two for the men.
same spot. back everybody court three heart eights and the smash game two about to start a lot of energy here from both teams trying to conclude their pool pay pool play with a victory here we go gentlemen same left right alignment there for Riley and AJ. AJ was a force in men's. They ultimately lost to Diescu and Matt yesterday. Coming out swinging. Coming out swinging. bag that is a double bounce unfortunate for the hard eights but fun point there. Kyle not afraid to go at Riley, that inside out. Nifty speed up, a little X's and O's strategy here from Kyle and Travis. out, guns out, speed up there. Backhand flick, so vicious there from AJ, able to get that down hard. 3-1 lead here, 4-1 lead here for the hard eights. Riley very accustomed to doing that in men's and mix, sliding over. Great shot by him. Five, one.
Another one by the smash. Fighting back here early. Great rip from Travis using that double O two. Stretch point there by Riley. Well done. Taking so much middle. Six, four. Hard eight's in a groove here. Definitely have an advantage at the kitchen when it comes to hands initiating or countering. Clean winner there from Travis. Nifty backhand. Five, seven. Travis from his heels with that reset, it falls short. So, three point lead here for SoCal. It's on a bit of a run here. Great job by Travis. Talking to the crowd. A little bit of chirping going on here. Beautiful black <laughs> backhand blocks and counters. A lot of chirping going on. And it continues. I think he's exchanging words with Hard H owner Tim Parks. Nice forehand flick there from AJ getting Travis off guard. He had previously gone at gone at Travis's body and hip. Good job extending him. So hard eight's quick to get to 11 here. We'll switch sides here in game two. Riley, Riley with.
with the stare down. Beautiful leaping Ernie. A lot of anticipation. I think he had seen Travis's head down and paddle face out to the right. Amazing stuff. what the smash would hope for. Here we go. Three-point deficit to make up. Travis is back in a formidable force right now. Smash hitting into the wind. Something to be mindful of as they switch sides. Athletic play there from Kyle, outstretched. Not only is it hard to get to that ball, it's even harder to keep it low. Riley calling a timeout as the smash come back within one. Wants to stem that momentum as best as he can. certainly the number two player in the world right now given his skill set within men's and mixed brings a lot of intensity and on-court energy those two unforced from AJ potentially leading to that timeout on Riley. Hasn't been that successful to date, but earns him one there. Travis finishes that emphatically. Well done by the smash. We're tied up here. 13-13. Great exchange there. Fast hands, well played by all. shoulder, that chicken wing area of AJ. Back to a tie game. 14, 14. What was an inopportune transition area drive from Kyle turns into an unforced smash now lead. That's out too, so Smash have come back. Now have a two point, two point lead. Viv and Georgia providing great energy from the sideline as always.
Riley Newman getting no touches there as AJ and Kyle go back and forth cross court. from Travis put away by AJ. So Hard Eights battle back to take the lead by one. 17, 16. Yeah. That's a tough decision by there by Kyle there to speed up cross court. AJ's got great hands. Really hard for Travis to handle that. And that sails long. The margins here are so, so slim. Riley walking off the court as if he expected Travis to take a timeout. Spicy anticipation there. back with a point of his own, created and finished that one. Again, Kyle going back cross court, AJ sitting backhand. So now the hard eights have game point on AJ's paddle here for game two to even it up. from Kyle down the line, <laughs> leaves Riley looking amazing to K a touch on the defense by AJ just to get them back into that point. Okay, the cross court speed up works. He's one for five, but we'll take it at this point. Huge point as both teams are frozen. 19-20, Travis serving. Travis poaching off that, maybe whiffs or fakes it. He's faked me out on that. Riley's ball goes out, so we are all tied up. play by all four there. The hands are so fast and furious. That earns the ball back on the hard eight side, but we are still frozen. We are all tied up at 20. 
insane points right now at the most critical time. Kyle not afraid to initiate. Smash have it. 2020. Conveniently gifted ATP off the net to Travis. Can't get that around the post. So, ball back to the hard eights. Good drop there. A lot of physical presence at the net, forcing Kyle to have to be delicate with it. Playing defense comes up and steps up for the punch. Bring them to a game two victory. Hard eights get their first win here in this match to take it 1 1. An amazing men's matchup here. Wow, 22 20. What a fight by the smash. What a fight by all. That game followed an amazing women's matchup that the Smash took. So we're going to proceed to game three here on court three between these two teams. Players are going to get some warm warm ups and touches in. That was some incredible high level pickleball there with all the pressure riding on the line.
Welcome back, everyone, to court three. Just about to get started here for the smash. We'll have the South Florida teammates of Georgia and Travis taking on the Austin-based individuals of AJ and Lauren. Each team looking to take a 2-1 lead. In this match, we've had an amazing display of fast hands, delicate resets, intense firefights from both the men's and women's matches. So I expect more of the same here in mixed. These players are playing for a lot right now. Game three, time in, zero, zero. What a tree of a first point there. Lawrence Trapman with a beautiful lob to the back left corner. Travis did play tennis. Silky smooth forehand punished that ball. One, one. it up there. Silky smooth ATP defense there by Travis. Strong forehand fist bump there from Lauren as she bags Georgia on that cross court attack. Good point there for the smash. Strong one-handed backhand put away from Travis. I did like the leaping Ernie from AJ though. too much there from AJ. He's displayed an amazing ability to reset and have defense today. Obviously won that men's match on that punch volley as he came up to the net. Just a little too hard there. Uh, Ernie attempt by Travis gone wrong as he Touches the net with his body. 
That'll be a point for the hard eights. Six all. Turn there from the hard eights. confusion here as to what actually happened. I know a lot about pickleball, but this seems to be in the nuanced sections of play we'll have to get an explanation about what has occurred Georgia's right foot lands on the net feet, and thus it's slid out on these portable nets. That said, I think she got away with stepping onto the kitchen line, but I forget if she struck the ball. It is a little bit of controlled confusion here. I believe we're going to replay the point. Play the point. It is 8 6, smash up by two. Time in. Eight, six. Point. A little bit of confusion there as AJ likes to slide. Lauren had to take it out of the air at the last second. Smash will take it. attack from Georgia that right hip of AJ so hard to defend against game right there. <laughs> Not often you see an ATP turned into Ernie defense. Incredible, incredible play. Uh, forehand speed up sails long, so Hard Eight's battling back here. Only in a two-point deficit. Nifty. 
Nifty dinking there by the smash. AJ and Lauren both frustrated with themselves there. So smash out to a three point lead. We switch at 11. They'll now have a little bit of wind at their, in their face, excuse me. start out of that side switch for the smash. Really, really powerful backhanded attack. Had to take that ball from below the net. Travis did. Beautifully done. He'd like that one back in the exchange with AJ. Good job by the Hard Eights to apply pressure there. by AJ on the attack by Travis scampering all around left lefty righty that third drop into the net gives a smash a four point lead Job by the hard eights here. Have recaptured a bit of the momentum. Just a bit long. AJ down through the legs of Travis. Only a three point deficit now for the Hard Eights. That ball lands out, two point deficit here. Hard eight's battling back. Really great stretch from AJ. Smash not liking what they're seeing and feeling right now. So they take a timeout with only a one point lead here in game three.
great step by Travis with the Ernie there. Big point for the smash. Couldn't come at a better time. 15, 16. Oh man, Poach gone wrong there for AJ. Hard eights have all the momentum, but Smash still with a two point lead. Maybe a bit of a commentator curse there. Smash get out with a point there. A collective groan by the Hard Eights and all spectators here. That's a tough point, but the Smash will take it. Georgia is bouncing. 19-15 as the Smash look to go up 2-1 in this match against the Hard Eights. It's been a beautiful day here so far in San Clemente at the Lifetime Fitness. This will be the last match here on court three. So be sure to tune in to the premier quarterfinals. Coming up on Grandstand and Championship Court on the other streams. Travis ready for that initial speed up from AJ. Game point now on Georgia's paddle. Speed up from Georgia caught me off guard, but AJ's there. His forehand gets back down through the middle. I think Travis was surprised at that too. So, point for the hard eights. Down by four. Got some work to do. Great save there by Travis with his back in outside the reach of the stretched AJ. So game point number two back on the smash side. Lauren ready for that. Ripped the two-handed ball that she got cross court from Georgia. Cross court always gives you just a little bit more time to react. Conventional point, but the hard eights get it done. 
They're now at 18, both teams frozen, so they have found a way to sneak back in here. You have to serve the score. Lauren saying, let's go to AJ. Good step from Travis to start that exchange. Heavy topspin backhand ball from him. Smash have their third opportunity to close this out and take a 2-1 lead. And a Burt to finish off this intense third game mixed matchup. Travis and Georgia take it for the smash. Their sideline is ecstatic here. Well fought by AJ and Lauren though here in game three. We'll head to game four in just a minute where the sibling duo, duo of Riley and Lindsay take on Kyle Yates and Vivian David. Smash looking to close this match out with a 3-1 victory. Hard Eight's trying to force a fifth game tiebreaker with the Dream Breaker. Okay, game four about to begin. We have the very powerful sibling duo of Lindsay and Riley Newman. Riley's gonna be playing on the right. 
for the Hard Eights, trying to get this 2-2 split, force a Dream Breaker tie. Kyle, Yates, and Vivian David representing the Smash here on a sunny game four. Good start for the Smash. It's just so hard to put away anything against the Newmans. They're athletic reset machines. Just out, but beautiful point from both teams. They have come to play. There's a lot on the line here. One, one. Lindsay sensing opportunity there with Viv straddling the kitchen. Doesn't work out. 2-1 for the smash. Oh, not the Newman you typically see poaching. Lindsay being very aggressive there. Small mistake there by Riley. Kyle and Viv on paper. Probably the underdogs here can't give away too many of those unforced. Athletic play by Vivian David. Jumping up to get that forehand smash. Also so skilled in not using her plant foot landing on landing on the kitchen line. Good job from the hard eights to keep the smash back. Kyle trying to keep Riley honest down the line, keep him on his toes. A mad scramble. Everyone wants the ability to finish here. Hard eights come out on top. I, be I believe both of the new ones were on the left sideline just for a split second. Again, Kyle not afraid to go at Riley. He wasn't afraid to go at him in their men's matchup. Put away power there from Riley. Six, Unlucky there for the smash.
Beautiful counter there from Kyle Fingerwag. get one back with some net love there to take the lead 8-7. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Peppering them, but Viv comes with the heavy forehand put away. Nine, seven. Bit of miscoordination there, giving the hard eights a point, just down by one. job from Viv to fend off the Riley poach as he steps in front of Lindsay. <laughs> Vivian David so cute even when she has an error she wanted that really badly. Point lead here for the smash at the switch. If they can continue doing what they've done, the smash may be able to, may be able to capture this 3-1 three, three and take the match. I'd look for Riley to get even more involved here from the hard eight side. Point of the game right there. Well done, paddle, clap. Not a paddle tap by Riley. Well done there. Amazing point, hard eights to serve, down by one. Yates. It's been the theme for him today. Wow, all Vivian David there. Lead bumps up to three. there back to two Lindsay to serve oh 
Oh. Ernie attempt by Kyle. Slightly off. Foot fault called. Lead back down to one for the smash. <laughs> Strong for him by Vivian goes wide. So we're all tied up here. Game four. Good from Riley Newman. That speed up hits the tape, so we are tied back up at 14 all. Wind is picked up here. Smash. Hitting into the wind. A bit unlucky there, I think, for Kyle. That that ball carries out with the wind. So quick to pivot to that forehand and bring in that power. Back to 15 all. With Rally scoring, there's not much you can give away here. The margins of victory being so tight. Nifty cut volley from Kyle to drop that into the kitchen. Amazing defense earlier from Riley in the point, ranging to his left and right. Two drives from the smash, hitting the tape. Frustrated himself there. Tie game. Oh, middle solves the riddle. Soft roller confuses Kyle and Vivian there. So hard eights take the lead. <laughs> Paddle toss from Lindsay Newman. I think that was a bit lucky, but it gets the job done. So Smash now in a two-point deficit, taking a timeout here at 19-17. Lindsay, a defensive queen in her own right. That seemed a bit lucky, though. Hardates can hold on to this lead and get to 21. We will be forced to go to the exciting tiebreaker format of the Dream Breaker, where the teams will face off in singles fashion, alternating every four points. But Hardates need to earn another two points to get there. This matchup the whole day has been. Extremely tight, extremely intense. Oh, 
Oh, man. Riley hits the sideline advertising board, scrapes his hand on that point. An unfortunate collision between the two Newmans. That's a point for the smash. Great rip from Kyle down the line to tie it up 19 all. The wind has now changed. It's really at their backs. Timeout called by the hard eights. That unfortunate collision that happened two points ago due to the hustle and athleticism of Riley. Kyle Yates coming up big with a drive down the line. This match has had it. This game has had it all. Let's see where this goes. Probably be only fitting for us to get to a dream breaker. Smash coming out of this timeout with a little bit of momentum, but tie game, a lot of work to do for everybody. Stepping up, cheering for, towards his box. Good defense by the smash, but Riley's aggressiveness outlasts him. So 2019 game point 2019. here for the hard eights. Big put away there from Kyle. Scores 1920. Both teams are frozen. More pressure from Riley earns him that ball back. So game point number two to send this to a dream breaker. Shot from Kyle. Cross score attack to Lindsay. Again, 19 20. That forehand block goes out. We're all tied up again. Smash have earned one. 20 20. Need a win by two. an out ball but amazing hands shown by Kyle and Riley tough point ball back to the hard eights here this tie game trying to force a fifth game dream breaker good call the Newman's extremely loud on their out calls for their respective playing partner. So game point for Lindsay and Riley. Oh, 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 oh. wow. <laughs> Everyone on pins and needles here back to the smash, trying to tie it up.
crowd is going crazy. Insanity out here. What a point. That earns one point for the smash. We are tied up at 21 all. Balls out. Kyle again going to that cross court speed of at Lindsay. Now the smash have game point and match point on their battle. And they've done it. They win 23-21 in game four. Kyle Yates, Vivian David, taken down Riley and Lindsey Newman. <laughs> An incredible finish to that game and the match. The Florida Smash finish up their pool play with a 3-1 victory against the SoCal Hard Eights. Wow, incredible play across all four matches. That's big. That is big. So thank you everyone for tuning in to court three here at MLP. We will be continuing play on the grandstand and championship courts with more challenger and premier division level play. I'm Ryan DeWidgen. We'll see you again soon.